the vision of the Science Industry Partnership is to provide a new skill system for the 21st century for science, right from school through to graduates, postgraduates and actually workplace students as well. The vision for SIP is an employee-driven new system of science skills training that will literally create thousands of jobs, new jobs for young people. It's all a matter of developing tomorrow's scientists today. The really good thing about this is that the, the employers will actually set the time scales and also influence the curriculum to actually deliver the product that we require to drive the life sciences businesses forward. It really is looking at the jobs that we need we need going forward. Um, you know, science-based industries, it's a very important sector in the, U in the UK and what we need to do is continue to develop um, the talent within the industry and that's and really the industry knows the type of people we need and we need to work with the providers to, to make sure what's out there is focused on delivering those, that talent. We, as employers, we can't decide who provides the training for us. Um, it, it's driven by the system. So what we want to take charge of is that system so that the, the money becomes directly available to us as employers and we can then make the decisions about where the best training provision is going to come from from us, whether that be in-house or a training provider. Those are the kinds of decisions we want to be able to make. It's empowering employers to take charge of the skills agenda. So why change? It's a good question. Uh, the UK's science base unfortunately lags behind our competitors and indeed some of the new economies. To become more competitive we need to stop being complacent, we need to move further and faster. We need to have our education system matched to that and, and have the right courses but also from a practical perspective we need to have individuals who have got the right skills and the right practical application of those skills to go into the work workforce as quick as possible and, and effectively hit the ground running. So to me that's how they marry, marry up together. Again, bringing, uh, we're stimulating interest through schools right through to um, graduates, postgraduates and actually in the workplace. And this is really to, to generate growth and innovation in the UK. Skills are a critical component of the UK science base and if we're to compete in the global uh, economy we need a strong skills base. So at the moment training in life sciences is quite disjointed in the UK and really we need the science industry partnership to actually be able to coordinate that. Um, and I think that the number of people we have sitting around the board table at the moment, they're just the right sort of people to do that. We've got a mixture of SMEs, about 50% SMEs. We've got uh, large pharmaceutical companies, we've got the med tech companies, we've got vaccines involved. Pretty much anyone in the life sciences sector is uh, open and engaged for the Science Industry Partnership. It's clear that the um, SIP, uh, the Sciences Industrial Partnership, is a vital component in developing those all essential skills for growth, for innovation in the UK. Quite simply, it's an essential and vital building block in the continuing recovery of the UK economy. <laughs>